Um, hello and welcome to the latest this, in this series of videos on how to use Tableau Public. It's going to be something a little bit different this time. Instead of doing a bit data visualization, what we're going to look at is how we can analyze a table of, in this case, survey data. So we've got a survey data table here containing textual data. How do we extract numeric information about this? Okay, a couple of things about the table first. It's well organized. Each column contains only information about one particular data data point. Um, the cells, uh, particular cells with the uh, information about which what each column contains are only single cells, not merged cells, and not over over one or two rows. So they should work okay. Uh, the table's been formatted to have the information all in boxes, which can sometimes be a little bit of an issue with Tableau. Sometimes it interprets empty cells which are formatted in this way as containing data although null data. Um, seems a, bit, a little bit unpredictable with how it does this. So if it does come up, all you need to do is go in and make sure you delete these rows. So again, as a usual rule with, with uploading stuff to Tableau Public, make sure you only upload what you're interested in. Right, so we'll minimize that. Um, we'll open up Tableau. And drag and drop our data in the usual way. So pick up example questionnaire. Uh, I know I'm using sheet one, we click on OK, and the information appears. Usual dimensions and usual measures. Uh, these are going to be all in dimensions because there's no actual numeric information. That's OK because we can use this to find numeric information. First thing we're going to do is look at creating a worksheet called Demographics, getting the demographics of the set. I'm going to re rename that. I'm just going to call it Demo 1 for now. Right, so what we do next is we pick up our information about the demographics of the group. And we pick up gender, drop it into rows, then age group, and then domiciled. Okay, what we want to do next is replace these A's and B's with some actual numeric information. That's containing measure value. So we pick that up and drag and drop it into here. Right, it's, it's adding more decimal points than we needed, and you can go into measure values, default properties, number format, go do number custom and reduce it down to zero. Uh, the other thing you might want to do is make the font a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to pause the video while I reformat that. Um, so here's our data table, which is sort of typical N equals in type information. So females aged 18 to 20 live at home, N equals 2, uh, which is sort of useful information we need, but it's... Uh, it's not analysing the information in any sense. So what we need to do now is apply uh, some percentages to this data. So what we're going to do is just copy this. So we're going to right click here, duplicate sheet, and we're going to call this demo2. Okay, so we've got the analysis. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning before we go any further is that aggregate measures is ticked on. Often in the past we've looked at data viz We've taken this off because we're interested in individual data points. In this case, we want the uh, groups of data. So we leave that ticked on. Right, so now I'll go down to uh, percentage of. And there's a number of options here, and it's well worth having a play with this. In this case, what we're going to do is a percentage of the column, which is a column we can just see to the right of this drop down menu. So we click on that, and these immediately change to a percentage of the information in the whole thing. Obviously, if we want to look at females age 18 and 20 and there is one where they live, we need to add some filters. So we'll do that next. So we'll go to analysis, click on quick filters, and we'll add gender, um, age group, and finally domicile. Right, so now if we're interested in females aged 18 to 20, there's some information directly on. 40% of live at home, 60% live in student accommodation. Okay, I'll turn them all back on for now. Right, now we're going to do something slightly fancy with these filters and we're going to, later on we're going to create a, a dashboard. So what we, to, what we want to do is use these filters to control all the information on the dashboard. So if we click on that drop down there, go to apply to worksheets and then all using this data source. Um, so we'll do this with the other one. And the other one. Now, when we create our dashboard, these filters will be included and we'll be able to control all of the information. Right, so the next thing we want to do is add 
the information questionnaire. So we're going to go to this new tab. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Q1. Okay, right, in this case, we're going to pick up um, gender and age. Um, we, could add, we could add domicile as well, but, but as you'll see, it does get a little bit complicated when you, you add more than two. So we've added gender and age to the column shelf. And now in the row shelf, we're going to add question one. Right, so as usual, uh, as we did earlier on, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to pick up measure values and drop them in here. So again, we get our n equals one type values. What we want to do again is turn them to a percentage and turn them again to a percentage of column. Okay, in the blink of an eye, I've done some formatting on this uh, to make things a little bit more visible. Right, also in the blink of an eye, I'm now going to add another um, worksheet for question two and question three. So I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, so what I did there was just copy the copy question one worksheet to question two uh, and then replaced, go back to question two, replace question one in rows with question two. Uh, just need to rename this one. So question three. Right, so next one I'm going to do is create a dashboard where we can bring all this information together. So I'll just click on the dashboard tab and new dashboard appears. Uh, we don't want demo one, we want demo two. I'll drag demo two over here, and as usual, it sort of fills up the whole space. I'm just going to make that a little bit wider, make it uh, about 620. Okay, now, one of the really useful things about the new version of Tableau is we can make elements in the dashboard floating. That means we can put them where we want to put them, rather than the sort of fairly clunky way of putting them together we had to use in the past. Now, select that one, and we go to a little drop-down menu there, and change it to floating. Now it appears a little corrugated carrying handle there, so I'm going to pick that over there. And we can stretch it out and make it a little bit bigger so we can see everything. Um, you can do this with the these folders as well, but for now I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is just add one of the questions. Um, now again, we can make this floating. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's any point in doing this at the moment. Um, that's more the point is I just want to show you what's happening here. So we've got questions one and question two there. It occurs to me perhaps we made this font a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to bring in question three because it might get a bit cluttered. Right, now we're using, we've got all the information now on the same dashboard, and we can then ask questions about particular groups. So if we turn off all and put female on, uh, females age 18 to 20, and there's their responses to questions one and two. So obviously quite a nice way of extracting information. So I'll turn them all back on. So that's quite a nice way of finding information now. We will finish up with a little bit of data visualisation and, and have a look at what are called highlight tables. Here's the information for question three in the way we presented it. Uh, if we go to show me, uh, there's a number of options here as usual. At the moment we're just working in tabular data, so we'll leave it in there. But there's this thing called a highlight table. If you click on that, it brings it up to, to quite, a nice, quite a nice way of presenting information. And obviously you can change the colours and whatnot. Um, Probably need to stretch it out a little bit. So I'm going to find the handle, stretch it out a little bit, so we can get the age group fully appearing there. And that's quite a nice way of presenting information. That's obviously something you could put directly in a report. Okay, that's all I want to say about this for today. I hope that was useful. Um, see you next time.